you have to, otherwise the game's just you can't make anything different. I, I don't. I, I think oh, there's a. Yeah, you do. Oh. If you want to make money, you do. Why? If if they didn't ever try to implement carriers, you wouldn't even know that there were carriers. Because they the can't game. sell you something you've already got. Oh my god, G, come on. If the carriers didn't exist in the game, if they didn't decide <clears> to implement them, especially that early, you wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even miss them. I mean, uh, well, but I, you I, would I, just I, be playing I've never, the CDs, Battleship, but it's not, no, like we originally it, did. Oh wait, you, I, you just said they cannot sell something that always already existed. <coughs> Schlieffen, millions, Battleship, secondaries. <coughs> no, 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 no. They, they can't sell you something that you've already got. That's in their minds. Yeah, they. I mean, I know they do it with Alitorio and Roma, for example. But generally they speaking, stuff, they already sold you. They, 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 they try to. They, they, all these gimmicks and all the, these are different. It's like well, you can only get this. That's why the, t the the premiums are different than the tech tree. Here, yeah, you can have a British battleship, but this thing about it is different than the tech tree. It's something different, so you have to buy it if you want the thing that's different. It's all predicated on that. Not saying yeah, it's right. Then, not, that not, you still, know. <laughs> that still doesn't exactly explain the whole carrier submarine breaking everything. I don't think CVs did break everything, though. No. Mm. In in being in the game, I don't think it's about whether CVs break everything or submarines break everything. It's the way they're implemented that breaks things. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, obviously, the way that they implemented them is breaking the natural order of things. I mean, there is a reason why, in reality, big capital ships were kind of, uh, what's the word? Obsolete after carriers. Yeah, obsolete. Because carriers and eventually submarines, like big badass nuclear submarines that one torpedo can absolutely wreck any ship in half. And and now you're, it's all about small cruisers, frigates. Uh, and and stuff like that that are stealthy and armed with missiles and and anything that can come against them. It's not about armor. It's not about size. It's not about gun caliber anymore. It's about stealthiness because everybody's got weapons that can murder each other if they get hit just once. So it's about not being seen. So the bigger, the worse. Big guns make no no simply no. Uh, they have no impact anymore. And then when you make a game called Table Warfare, where you're not trying to go missiles and, mm. and, and all that shit, you're trying to go old school, but then you implement the stuff that literally made all the others obsolete, you're breaking natural order of things. It's really simple. Which is funny because guns might be getting more interesting in the future again. But not big ones. The, the funny thing though is guns might get more interesting in the future again. Because mi unlike missiles, they're harder to stop. <coughs> but that's for the future and we're talking about like rail guns and everything, you know, like super fast and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's got fun. Yeah, it's not even a conventional gun. Returning to ship. Whether it has been confirmed, W, D. Is it a joke now or is it not a joke? Where has it been confirmed? Don't scare me. <laughs> okay, good. You scared me there a bit.
You scared me there, Rude. Enemy submarine in sight. I need intelligence. Oh no, I've got Shimakazi doing things. Yeah, I'm already dive. Enemy cruiser sighted. Can you have a look for the shimmer? Because it's less likely to be. Well, I don't know. Maybe it is actually. Hang on. We could both look at the same time. Just. What is happening in the middle? <laughs> oh, all sorts of fun. <laughs> oh, you got the GK. Well done. Yeah, but I'm gonna die to a fucking shimmer now because of this. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Enemy battleship. Oh, that's a direct hit. I'm dead. Yeah. I should have rammed them. God fucking damn it. This is the second time I had an opportunity to ram a DD and make sure he doesn't shit. You spotted an enemy submarine. And I and I always go for dive, hoping that he doesn't have depth charges on the full and he pretty much always has them. I could have yeah, literally rammed him and they had a double fight. And then you're you're clear. Oh no DD to work. Yeah, always ram. We've destroyed an enemy cruiser. I don't know how it's disappeared so quick. I was right next to it. <laughs> Love the War 1 guns when they connect, they're absolutely insane. No joke. Probably the best guns of all in game. Oh, he's got no engine. Lord Rennie, thank you for the follow. Welcome. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm going to kill him. <laughs> Enemy I just killed the submarine at 29 kilometers. <laughs> oh shit. My god. So much to that chat. <laughs> Oh my god, what the frick? That must be a new record. <laughs> oh my god, no way, can somebody clip that? Can somebody clip that please? Thirty kilometers. Our victory is inside. Come on, speed up. I feel like a Death Star looking like from this perspective on them. He's too slow though, he's gonna hide. <laughs> oh, the sub is nearby. I need intelligence data.
cool bugger. Problem solved, sir. Torpedoes, dead ahead. Torpedoes to port. Torpedoes to port. <laughs> Yeah, deserved first. <laughs> <laughs> totally deserved to be first after that snipe. 